Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. How to weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> What? I can grow too. Oh, what? Watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> No, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. My brother and me got a new project, now that we're on speaking terms. Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Fixing up some what do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brock and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. Do you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Mozognir the dwarf king found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here, a Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange.
the strongholds northwest of here, behind this Fartalfheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. One more for the collection. Oh, you're right. Now that we got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin's strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best in peace. He knew the Giants were deeply concerned about the hammer. A super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. over here.
Here. Boy. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. Dwarf King captured more than one dragon. He must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Uh, shit. Dragon shit is powerful? Hi, <laughs> lad. Fortunately powerful. Ned is having fun with you. Oh, I, I knew that. Yeah! <laughs> 
That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. to find out but they're rather messy uh, I guess it doesn't matter
Atreus to me. I'm coming, I'm coming.
We are done here. Boy. Yes, sir. Wonder who wrote this.
than Vader gone. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. I wonder what happened to him. Tis a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eater, the very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness.
to open. Looks like we need three. Strong here. Keep your guard up. Oh. 